home, now it's time to save some cash for their college education or maybe for your own fun fund. But actually putting away that money, that's the tough part. But maybe we can help you out this morning. Certified financial educator Steve Siebel joins us with some ideas. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. <laughs> so March, we're going to focus on our money. Uh, we talk about dry January. What is dry March? Well, dry March is a spinoff on dry, dry January, not drinking. So not spending money that you don't need to spend in March, just spending on the essentials and really watching every penny that, that goes out the door. I think people might be surprised at how much they're spending on things that they just don't really need, whether that's, you know, the cup of coffee three days a week or, you know, hey, I went on a Target run and I got more than what was on the list, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Drinking too much wine at night and ordering on Amazon. Packages are showing up at the door the next day. You don't know, even know what's in the packages. Uh, I think we've all been guilty of this at some level. You know, it, it happens. Some, it happens. So take the time to focus during the month of March to really just spend money on those essentials. That's a great tip. Uh, another thing is you can actually make your money work for you. Yeah, see if you can, if you're not already an investor, try to uh, to do some, you know, look at some YouTube videos, maybe read a couple of books on investing, work with a financial professional and go safe. You know, you don't want to put your money at risk if, if you can't afford to. And uh, and look at investing because it's it's an exciting world where you can uh, you can make money and uh, you can and you can make it a low risk situation as well. And there are new platforms out there that are making it a little bit easier that Robinhood people have heard of and, and different platforms that are out there that if you're a you know beginner you can sort of uh, learn the ropes a little bit there. So people are getting into it and it is you know something of interest so you can maybe make a little bit of money that way too. Um, you can also make some money off of your old stuff. That that you're getting rid of when you're cleaning out the house. Absolutely, empty your closets, your garage, your attic. Look at all these things that, that we that we purchase over a period of years and see if you can put them on eBay, put them on the internet, you know, put them on Facebook Marketplace, whatever it is. There's all these outlets to sell these things and, and billions of dollars are going through these outlets every single year. So get in the game and turn your junk into some extra cash. Yeah, and then, you know, people on the other end are saying, well, I, you know, got a deal because I needed this item. I had one was broken or whatever and they get a discount on it because they're not buying it new and, and everybody wins in this situation. Situation. Um, you know, a lot of people, when they go shopping, it's like this instant gratification. So they might get online and they might just click on something, as you mentioned, put it in their cart and be on their way. But it's pretty important to do some comparison shopping to make sure that we're not spending more money than we need to. Definitely. Madison Avenue is not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Their job is to advertise and to get us all emotional about buying products. And it's amazing what you can save. Last year, I was going to buy a BMW, uh, a, a new BMW SUV, and I bought a Kia instead because I did research and found out the Kia was actually much higher rated than the BMW, and it was $65,000 less. <gasps> so it's, wow. I didn't know that before. I had no idea. But it's amazing what you can do when you do research. Yes, yeah, so and the brand name doesn't necessarily mean you know a better quality product um, you got to shop around and do look at those reviews you know see what can, other consumers are saying about things too definitely yeah it's I mean those brand names that's all part of the marketing it doesn't mean the quality is there I mean think of some of the brand names you've had over the years just in different products and services and some of them were really lousy but the brand is so fancy that uh, that people think well it's 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 associated it's correlated with quality and that's not necessarily the case okay so do some comparison shopping another thing that a lot of people are doing right now filing those tax returns and waiting for that refund to come in yeah, exactly. Save your money. <laughs> Save your money. We're in a crazy economic cycle. Yeah. Obviously, the pandemic, there's war in Europe. There's all kinds of crazy things going on. Gas prices are about to go through the roof, as, or, or so it seems. And uh, no one has a crystal ball, but there's, it's probably a pretty good uh, a pretty good advice to, a suggestion at least, to save your money and maybe even invest your tax refund, even if it's a few hundred dollars. There's a way to do that. As you mentioned, make your money work for you. So, uh, you, so you can uh, get that check. Don't spend it on something you don't need <laughs> is, is the, uh, the big advice this morning. Steve, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Amanda. Take care. When we come back, a warning. Grab the tissues now. Stephen Jackson, he joins us with a story. Well, it's going to give you a reason to smile, but it's also going to have you looking for the tissues and grabbing your nearest friend or relative to give them a big old bear hug. I <laughs> think your day is back in a moment.